So in this video, we're going to set up our project. So in the right-hand corner, go to New Project. And we're going to be selecting um, 3D URP. And for the project name, what I generally do is in my Documents folder, I will create a new folder and I'll just call it Unity Projects. Go ahead and select that folder. And then instead of my project, we want to call this environment. Now ideally you'd name this the name of your game, but for now, uh, since we're going to be learning how to build 3D environments, this is going to be our All right, so go ahead and click Create Project. And this will take a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. All right, so now that Unity is open, let's make sure we're looking at the same thing. Up in the right-hand corner, click on Layout, and then go down to 2 by 3 what I generally do from here is I'll take my project tab and I'll drop it below my hierarchy tab. And then I'll click these three little dots here and I'll make it one column layout. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to install some Unity packages. So go ahead and go to Window and then go down to Package Manager. And then what we're going to be looking for is in the Package and Projects dropdown. Click on Unity Registry and scroll all the way down to, um, we were looking for Pro Builder, so under P. It's in alphabetical order. And then go ahead and install. I'm going to let that install and pause the video. All right, we see that it says remove in the corner. We also have a, uh, in our toolbar up here, we have a toolbar called Tools. If I click on Pro Builder, then Pro Builder Window. You can see here we get this uh, this floating panel. If you have that, that means that everything was installed correctly. Now let's install a free asset, which will give us a third person character to run around. So go to Window, and then we're going to go to the Asset Store here. Go ahead and click on that. Now it used to be embedded inside of Unity, but now um, it's it shows you that you have to go on the internet or go online. So go ahead and click the Search Online button. It also might pop out like this as a separate window. So let's go ahead and click on Search Online. Now, this would also require you to sign in with like a Gmail and stuff later, which you might already be signed in anyway with Unity Hub when you first installed the Unity, um, the version of Unity that you're in. Let's go ahead and click Search Online. All right, here we are. So go ahead and click on this little uh, sign in here and go ahead and click on sign in and sign in with the uh, email that you initially signed into your unity hub with all right now that i'm signed in up at the top here you're going to type in character controller and uh, go ahead and press the enter key or click this magnifying glass to search now immediately you might be like well nothing happened because the top bar is the same but if you scroll down you can see that you have a bunch of different character controllers that are for sale. Um, we're actually interested in this free one. So if you don't see this right off the bat, you can go over here and click on free assets. Now, this first person over here and third person character controllers are created by Unity Technologies. And so they're completely free. Um, and also, it's going to be nice to just use those for now to um, before we create our own in the character class. So go ahead and click on this. And it'll open up here, and then it, you'll see off to the side here, it says Open in Unity. Go ahead and click on that button. That's going to give you this pop-up here. I'm going to hit Always Allow Asset Store to Open, and I'm going to click Open in Unity Editor here. So you can see here that there's this starter asset, third-person character controller, now pops up. Go ahead and click on Download. And then I, I read and accept if you accept the agreement. And then scroll down all the way to the bottom. And let's see if we can get down here. Click on Agree if you agree. All right, now let's jump back into Unity and um, take a look at installing it. All right, so here we are back in Unity. And now that we've agreed, I have this Download button. Go ahead and click on Download. You'll see it's starting to think. All right, you can see there's an import and a re-download button. 
So if you click import, that'll import all of the assets into your project. So I'm going to go ahead and um, it looks like I have to upgrade my package manager, which is fine. So go ahead and hit install. Let's let that install for a minute. And we have an additional warning here. Go ahead and hit yes to install the backend. So there was an input, um, a new input system that was brought in um, recently versus the old input system. So it looked like it needed to restart after that. So if you have the same problem, uh, all we're going to do now is go back to our browser and try to reinstall that character controller again. So here we are back in our browser. Let's go ahead and type character controller again. And let's make sure that we tick on free. And then let's click this first one here. Or we can actually just click on add to my assets down here and then open in Unity. And then let's try importing one more time. And it should work this time where we have an import screen. It looks like it's still doing this. Let's see. If you hit this. There we go. Okay, it's it's fine now. Go ahead and import. All right. Let's move this off to the side. You can see we have starter assets here. So if I expand this, you can see there's an environment that says mobile. Uh, if you're making a mobile game, what we're looking for is third person character. And then we want to go into prefabs here and you can see there's all this stuff. So there's player follow, player armature. Do we drag that in to our scene? Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to hit F to focus. And I'm holding Alt and left clicking to rotate. So that's pretty much what we want is that armature. So let's kind of um, test this out for a second. So let's go to Tools and then Pro Builder and then Pro Builder Window. And click on New Shape here. And um, what you can do is I'm holding Alt and left clicking. If you click your middle wheel in, you can pan. So I'm, I'm expecting you to have some Unity experience. If not, email me. Um, but you should have taken a few other Unity classes before you came in here. Then I'm going to left click and I'm just going to drag out a ground here. So I just left click and drag. Then I'm going to press W or I'm going to click this arrow here and making sure we're on this track. So if we click on our little armature here, which we can also select it from here, when we press the play button, we don't necessarily have a camera set up, but you can see down here if I click down here, I can actually move this character around. And um, you're probably not hearing this, but I can actually hear footsteps as well. If I hit the space bar, my character can jump. So I'm going to go ahead and press escape. And I'm going to uncheck the play button here. So let's go ahead and uh, save this. So I'm going to do file, save scene. Or sa yeah, save as. And then in my scenes folder, I'm going to call this level underscore zero one. And we go ahead and save that. And in the next video, we'll take a look at how we can start uh, planning to build a little home for our robot to walk around in.